Hi, I'm Heather Latimer, Dean of Delorey College of Education. I'm delighted to be with you virtually to celebrate your academic achievements. The Dean Scholars Awards recognize our students who have earned a 3.65 or higher GPA in either spring 2019, fall 2019, or both semesters. The President Scholars Awards recognize our students who have earned a 4.0 GPA in either spring 2019, fall 2019, or both semesters. These are significant accomplishments, and we are so pleased to be able to honor you. Being recognized as a President's or a Dean's Scholar is a tribute to your persistence and your hard work. The academic programs in our college are rigorous and demand excellence from our students. We know that many of you have encountered challenging courses that pushed you to think differently or lean into opportunities that were outside of your comfort zone. We know that to excel, requires you to put in significant effort that many of you dedicate late nights, weekends, and time squeezed between other responsibilities. We see the lengths that you go to to succeed as you juggle coursework, field work, jobs, campus responsibilities, and family life. We recognize that for some of you, the path to academic success has been circuitous, requiring you to overcome major challenges and lean on the support of family and community as you've navigated your path. And through all of that, you persisted and you succeeded and you should be incredibly proud of yourselves. I hope that you take a moment to reflect on all that you've accomplished and to revel in your success. We are at a strange moment in our college and the world as we shelter in place. It can be isolating and unnerving and make us question many aspects of our lives. But you have chosen to study a field that is about having an impact. You have chosen to be part of a college that prepares educators, counselors, therapists, school and community leaders to make a transformative difference in the lives of individuals, families and communities. And you have demonstrated yourselves to be leaders in our college and future leaders in your fields. At a time when so much is shifting so quickly in the world around us, I see hope in you. The dedication, determination, and vision that you have brought to your studies is exactly what we need for our future as a college, as a community, and as an interconnected global society. Thank you for choosing to be part of our college. Thank you for choosing to make an impact, and congratulations on your success. Hey, this is Marcos Pizarro, I'm the Associate Dean for the College of Ed, and just really excited to be here wishing you all congratulations um, on your awards as presidents and dean scholars it's so hard to do what you did um, and so we just want to acknowledge and appreciate your achievements your accomplishments the way you represent yourselves the way you represent our programs the way you represent the college um, and the way you represent your families and friends and community so i hope that you'll take a minute to thank your family um, thank your faculty, thank your mentors, thank your supporters um, to make sure that you let them know what you, how much you appreciate them. We appreciate you. We see you and, and celebrate how hard it is to accomplish what you've accomplished. And, um, and also just admiring you for your strength in these times, being able to continue on your academic journey um, with the determination that you have. Um, so looking forward to someday being able to celebrate you in person. So whenever we can do that again, please come by the Dean's office in the college and Heather and I will give you a big high five when we can do that, of course, um, and maybe even take you to coffee if we can. So congratulations again for all that you accomplishment, accomplished and we're really looking forward to, to that time when we can celebrate you in person, whether that's at a graduation or just in our offices. So keep doing what you do and take care. Hello, scholars. I'm Emily Slusser, and as the Chair of the Department of Child and Adolescent Development, I am honored to celebrate this major achievement with you all. It may seem like eons ago, but I know many of you from back when we were meeting in Sweeney Hall for class. We engaged in hallway conversations, collaborated on research, even took a walk down to the Paseo for coffee or lunch. And while many of us find ourselves sitting around and waiting for some semblance of normalcy to return, let me go out on a limb and recognize that many of you would not characterize these last few weeks as sitting around and waiting. 
In fact, you're, little, you're likely to find yourself looking back on this time from a really unique perspective. Without skipping a beat, you continued your hard work, your coursework, your studying for exams, you completed your papers, I know there were a few. It's a lot of work to keep that GPA up. But of course your GPA, albeit impressive, is just one of many indicators of your achievements. This honor represents all of your hard work, as well as your impressive problem solving, critical thinking skills, your intrinsic desire to learn, and your commitment to equity and excellence. This all comes together not only as a GPA, but as an indicator of your newly gained expertise. It is you will be turning to for advice on how to best care for our youngest children, develop and implement effective, inclusive education, and advocate for our children, youth, and families in our communities. And you know what? We're really gonna need your support. Tips and tricks for homeschooling and parenting are trending on social media these days. Your expertise and development will continue to be in high demand. Admittedly, I think of this often. With three young children at home, I find that my own understanding of development and education is not readily transferring into this new world we find ourselves in. We still have a lot to learn, and I look forward to working with you all, both as students and as colleagues. With the shared goal of supporting this next generation of children and youth, many of whom are aspiring to one day be where you are today. So on behalf of all of us in Chad, we are so very proud of you and we look forward to seeing your continued achievements as you move forward in your lifelong journey. Congratulations. Hi everyone. I welcome you warmly to this happy occasion and joyous celebration of your outstanding achievements in academic excellence as Dean Scholars and Presidential Scholars here at the Lurie College of Education and at San Jose State University. My name is Nidhi Mahendra. I am a professor and the Department Chair of Communicative Disorders and Sciences, also known as the Speech-Language Pathology Program. It has been a time of intense change and a struggle for a lot of you. So it is my delight to be here on this happy occasion where we get to be really proud of you and to celebrate what I hope is only the first of many, many more accomplishments in your academic journeys. I am joined by the department faculty and staff and lecturers and clinical educators in telling you that we are so proud of you and we hope that you are going to go on and do absolutely wonderful things. Congratulations again. Thank you for all the wonderful work that you have done.